Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. After last episode with the creeper in the attic that blew me up and took all my levels away, I've been working in between episodes to, you know, build the levels back to where they were or close to. I've done some AFK fishing, I've done some mining, and some animal breeding. And today, the first thing we're going to do is go down to our new enchanting setup, enchant some items, maybe combine some of those cool bows we got from AFK fishing, and then we are going to build an automatic chicken cooker. That's right, an automatic chicken cooker. I've been working on a design that uses a YouTuber named Avomance's basic design, and expands on it just a little bit. I like to have eggs too, so this has a little diversion valve that allows me to flip a switch and either collect eggs or have it produce cooked chicken. So if that sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Oh, I wanted to show you this real quick. So uh, my son was like, hey dad, can I build something? And I was like, yeah, uh, whatever you do, don't build it on my Let's Play world. You can build it on my um, test play world and my or my test world and uh, or create a new world. But uh, listening skills, am I right? So anyhow, he built me a little campfire over here. Uh, I'm gonna leave this as part of the build, and I uh, just wanted to show you what he did. He he dropped down four campfires with um, some hay underneath it, and just put some logs for sitting around here. So that's um the first thing on my let's play world that I did not build myself. All right. Let's go down to the enchanting room really quick here. And I'll show you just kind of uh, some outside improvements that I made to the build itself. So I went ahead and put some berry bushes around just to add some color here and there, added uh, some flower boxes over to this one. I also added some lamps because I think that looks a little bit nicer and put item frames with what building it is. So this is my fishing building and this is my library and enchanting building. And so let's go inside. And the idea with this one is eventually I'm gonna have uh, librarians in here. So I added for right now a um, anvil and grindstone so we can disenchant items, combine items, um, base items if we need to, but mainly disenchant and get more XP back. Also, I, I put in this anvil so we can combine some items. And then upstairs, this is where the libraries are gonna be staying. Uh, we'll have uh, two beds in here for two librarians and uh, two beds over here for two librarians. Eventually, and here's our little, what'll be their little kitchenette and we'll put some more uh, books up here and, and some decorations once we get to that point. But we're not there yet, folks. Okay, so I moved some things over here. Um, I got all of our enchanting books, and you can see I got some cool ones too. I got some Silk Touch, uh, Fortune 2, which is awesome. You can't put Silk Touch and Fortune on the same pickaxe, so we'll, we'll probably do, uh, I'll probably put Fortune on this one right here, uh, just to see what we're, we're at. But we also have uh, Blast Protection, which, you know, after the Creeper, that sounds good to me. Uh, some Fire Protection, and I'm Breaking, that would be a great one to have on some armor. And uh, Protection 4, like that on a chest piece. Let's see, um, some sharpness, that'd be good. Feather falling would be great for the boots. Uh, looting for the sword. And unbreaking would be good on just about anything. Efficiency four would be great on the pickaxe as well. And unbreaking three and an aqua affinity for the helmet. Um, we'll also add uh, respiration to that too. And then just an unbreaking three. So. Let's go ahead and see what kind of enchants we get on a diamond pickaxe right now. We'll, let's grab our uh, our lapis and we'll grab our pickaxe and we'll see what we come up with. So when you click your um, item into the, the enchanting kind of uh, interface here, you put your lapis in here and you'll need three for the maximum levels. And so this is the one that costs 30, this is the one that costs 16, this is the one that costs five levels. For the uh, 30 level, it's a guaranteed efficiency four, which we have that as a book. So let's see what else we can get on some enchantments. So for an iron ax, we got efficiency four. A lot of efficiencies going on right now. Uh, it's probably because it's the same type, it's a tool. 
Uh, let's put a bow in and see what we get on a bow. Power four. Yeah, we have a lot of these already. So I think let's go ahead and um, make a, hmm, do I want a sword? That is the question. And see what we get on the sword. Ah, uh, don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do it and see what happens. Although I could make that helmet. Mm, nah. Let's go ahead and make a sword. Actually, you know what I'm going to do instead? Now I'm thinking about this. We are going to actually make a shovel. That's going to be strange, I know. And we're going to cycle through and see if we get something else on the enchanting table. So the way that this will work is we take our shovel in. And we'll bring our lapis in here and we'll just get the base level. All right. So we're only using one of our lapis and we have efficiency and unbreaking on the shovel. Now when we put our ax our pickaxe in here, it should be different. Hmm. Then, oh, there's silk touch. So I could get silk touch on this now, but I have the books. Oh, accidentally clicked. Oh, Silk Touch Efficiency 3. Okay, well, you know what? We will take it. Happy little accidents. Okay, so we have a Silk Touch pickaxe. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make another pickaxe because I want Fortune on it. I'd like to have Fortune 3, but we're going to go ahead and just get... Um, and I need sticks. So I will grab some sticks. I'll be right back and we'll see what we can get on that other pickaxe. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what we can get on this other pickaxe. Uh, see if we can get um, good enchantments. Not that one. Lapis. Efficiency four. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we do want that and just see what else we get. If we got Silk Touch on top of that, that wouldn't be the best thing because then we have two Silk Touch pickaxes. Um, we have the efficiency book. Mm, let's go for it. Efficiency and unbreaking. Okay, cool. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll put fortune on this one as well. And the way that you uh, put things onto already enchanted items is you take them into the anvil interface like we did before when we were combining. And you just drop the book in there and it's for this direction. Let's see what it is the other way. Oh, it goes one direction with books. That's right. Okay, so four. So now we have a unbreaking three, efficiency four, fortune two pickaxe. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I also brought over our bows. I'm going to combine these three together and see what we come up with here. So let's do, um, let's see what that is, 16, 22. Let's see if we have this one here, 6, 18. So we'll do the six one first. And that gives us a bow with infinity, punch one, power four, and flame. Okay, let's add a, a breaking three and punch one. So that should give us punch two. That's 17 that way. 27 that way. Okay, we'll do 17. Okay. So that's a pretty good bow right there. Um, it'd be great. We should probably bring it up to full health if we can. Can we put this in there? Five. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right. We are back down to two levels, and that makes me a whole lot less nervous. Okay, for the second part of our episode, we're gonna build our chicken cooker right here. And to do that, um, we are going to grab some of our resources in here first, and we'll need a redstone, um, our bows that we have set aside, and our regular like cobblestone for this. We'll also need some sticks to actually I have some sticks in here already. Awesome. Cause we'll need some torches. So we're going to need to make uh, three redstone torches first. So let's go ahead and do that. The rest of the torches are going to be for the comparator and to build a comparator, we need smooth stone, three of them at the bottom like that. We need our redstone torches and a triangle formation like so. And we need one piece of quartz in the middle and we have our redstone comparator. As our first component that we'll need. Next, we'll need two observers and three dispensers. So the dispensers are going to be fairly easy. You just put uh, a bow in the center, then you have cobblestone going on the outside and redstone at the bottom. And that gives you a dispenser. So we need three of those. So let's go ahead and 
we'll go ahead and build this up for two more and we'll put our two redstone at the bottom and you can only you can't stack bows so you have to take one of these at a time but you can stack them once they're done so we'll go ahead and stack those up and then finally for our um, observers we need two and if you don't remember what the recipe is which i'm off the top of my head i don't remember right now you can click on this little book right here in the crafting and it brings up all the things that you can craft so if you click on the redstone thing here you can come over and see um, all the different things you can craft with redstone and we're going to go over here and there's our observer so we'll click on that and this tells us what we need for the recipe you can you know basically memorize it and say okay that's what i need to do it or you can just click on this and it pulls it out of your inventory automatically like that and so you click on it again pull out of your inventory again and that's the best way easiest way to craft things if you don't remember what the recipe is off the top of your head Okay, now that we've crafted all the redstone items we need for this chicken farm, we're gonna go ahead, grab the items out of the chest and start constructing. So we'll need our wood, and that's basically to build a structure on the outside. We'll need our chest, and then we'll need four hoppers and some glass, just so we can see what's going on. We will also need some slabs. I put some dirt in here in case we need it. Uh, let's grab these two uh, sticks as well, because we need to make some levers. And we, we actually should do that really quick too. Uh, we need a bucket of lava. I got that lava from just a, a little hole um, not too far away from here. And then we'll finally we'll put some eggs in here. So we can go ahead and grab these right now too because there's space in there. Okay, so we'll make our levers really quick. And that's just um, cobblestone. You can do this in your regular interface too. You don't, need, um, you don't need a crafting table interface. So it just sticks above cobblestone. You get two levers. So we're going to go ahead and put it right over here. And the first thing that I want to put down our um, double chest. I should probably organize this a little bit better. You know what? I don't need all of this um, quartz. I'm going to get rid of this quartz really quick. That's kind of silly to keep that in my inventory. But you see how much quartz I got? That was from the Fortune 2 uh, pickaxe. And it I got 20, like 18 levels because I had two when I went into the nether. And that took all of five minutes to get that. So that's a very efficient way to get back up quickly. Okay. Uh, enough of the sidebar there. We're going to grab that and our hoppers. So we want to double chest down first. So we'll put our two chests down here like this. And yeah, I think I'll put it on that side. And then we put a hopper coming into the double chest. I'm thinking from the back like that. Yeah. And this is going to be the very bottom level of the build. So on top of this, we're going to put another hopper facing into it. So you got to crouch and click in like that. Now let's go ahead and pick our cobblestone blocks and we're gonna go ahead and make a, just kind of a, a ring around the outside of this so we, we know what we're building on. So this is going to be the, the side that we're gonna access the, the most right here. So we're gonna click here, click here like that, and then come around in a U shape around the outside just so we have something to work with going forward. We're also going to put a block here like this and a block here like this. And this is going to be kind of ground level. Um, I had to raise this up a little bit so I could have the two different lines come in. So we can actually go ahead and, and put our blocks around the, the whole outside like this if we want. Um, put one right there. Okay. And now we're going to put our second double chest right here on this side, like here. And we'll have a hopper going into the back of it like this. So it should be double chest, hopper going into this chest, hopper going down into that hopper, and then double chest, hopper coming into the double chest. And you can always tell because you can see the side, it's, it's draining in like this. And then for this next layer, we're going to have a dispenser um, shoot into this hopper right here. So to do this, what we're gonna need to do is, um, okay, we have our structure blocks there. We got our hopper. Let's get our dispensers. Uh, we'll get our observers down here as well. Don't need the fish right now. We'll get our capac or comparator. So let's go ahead and put a uh, temporary block. Well, not there, but right there. And we're gonna need our dispenser shooting out like this okay 
Let's go ahead and take these temporary blocks off again. And then we want a hopper going into the back of the dispenser like that. And then we want a, the comparator looking out the back like that. So every time something gets dropped in here, it's going to know this and that's where the signal is going to come from. Um, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Then building up on top of this, we're going to come on top of here and we're going to put one of our observers facing down, looking at this. So you have to, you have to crouch and click, get away from here like that. So you should see the little red spot up here. Um, and that is, and we'll come down here real quick so you can see this. See how it's looking down this little face, looking down at the comparator. We want that. So when that pulses, uh, detects something's in the hopper, that this sends a signal up to here. And, and that's how we'll be able to um, then activate the lava that'll shoot out and cook our chicken. So right up here, we're going to want to have a slab on top of the um, existing hopper right here. So crouch click. And this slab is going to be so that baby chickens can stand on here. And they're like uh, the right height where if lava shoots out, it won't cook them. But adult chickens, when it does, it will cook them. And since this is a half slab, it'll go right into all the drops will go right into the hopper and into, into this chest. Okay, so let's continue up here again. So right here, we're going to want to put our redstone dust down on top of this, like so. And then we will want an observer facing that redstone dust. So you can click on your observer, uh, click on the redstone dust like this. You see how it's like, you can see the outline of it, put the observer down. And so you should have the red dot back here and just double, double check. See it's facing that. So when this, pulses, this picks it up, makes the redstone pulse, it sees the pulse, it sends a signal across this direction. So right here is where we're going to want to have our other dispenser. So let's go ahead and uh, drop this. So if you if you kind of crouch and you click towards the back like that, um, it'll, it'll face it the right direction for you. So this one, we're going to put redstone on the top like Oh, you gotta crouch for this too, so let's jump up. Ah, too short, okay. I'll go ahead and add some blocks up here, not that one, oh my gosh, okay. Here, let's try this again. Oh, I'm putting it right into the middle of that thing, all right. Let's go ahead and try this again, all right. Here we go, one, two, three, okay. Then we got a redstone dust right, oh my gosh. Crouch, then put the redstone dust down like that. And so the final thing that we'll need to put down this final dispenser, we're gonna want it on this side over here facing this direction because we're gonna launch our eggs into this hopper right here. So let's come over here and we'll put a temporary block down. Uh, let's do it right up here like that. And then right there, oh, that's not where we want it. Let's go over one more like this. There we go. Okay, and then coming around here, we'll put our dispenser facing that direction. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. All right, I'll come back over here, take these blocks off because we don't need them up there anymore. All right. And so the structure should look like this. We have um, two double chests, our hoppers, um, this one goes in here. We're gonna put a lever down here, right right now. Let's go ahead and do that. And what this lever is gonna do is when we flip it, it's going to lock this hopper right here. So the eggs won't pass automatically straight down because the way that hoppers work is when you have a chain of them coming down, they will drop down first until this is full and then they'll go into this other area. So by locking the hopper with this lever, we're basically saying this one's full, and so it, it goes in here. And that's how we're gonna control the flow of whether we're getting eggs from our chickens or whether the eggs are going to hatch and um, become adult chickens and then get cooked by the lava itself. So let's go ahead and put the lava in here. 
and we'll try really hard not to accidentally set this off because that will make a big old mess until we get the, the setup here. So let's go ahead and, and build the outside of this. And I, I think I want to build glass so we can see what's going on most of the time here. So we'll come up here like this and just put some glass down on both sides coming up like that. And then we also want glass around the front. So let's do come across like this. And what's cool about glass is because it's a transparent block, when you click on your chest, you can still open it. It opens it through the block. Not very physics friendly, but it, it definitely um, it makes it easier when you're building. So go ahead and put a block up there like that. And we'll put a glass block down here so we can see what's going on with the chickens if we need to troubleshoot anything. So let's go put another block there too. Okay. So that is the basis for our little contraption so far. The only other thing we want to do is we want to put another lever on this dispenser like that. And this is where we're going to put our eggs in. And then as we click this back and forth, it'll launch the eggs in here. The eggs will hatch um, some of them and they'll become adult chickens. And then they'll, the eggs that they uh, lay will drop into the, the, this line or this line down here. Now let's go ahead and see if we can make this structure look a little bit prettier. Okay, we're back. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, just put some lights down just to keep this area kind of lit up. So we don't get uh, too many spawns around here. I'm just going to drop some around the corners of the build itself. I fell down a hole. There we go. And we're going to also put down a sign here. And this is just so I remember exactly what we're doing. So in the off position, which it's set for right now, we are going to put in just a you know, the carrot up and we're going to say that up is eggs. And then we're going to skip two lines and then we're going to do a V and then we're going to say down is for chicken. Okay. And that way we remember which lever, um, which direction the lever needs to be switched in order for us to get what item out of it. And so here we have the um, dispenser and we'll go ahead and put our eggs in here real quick. We'll put all our eggs in one basket. <laughs> and then if we hold down this, just click on it once and then hold down, it just flips it. And as it's flipping, it's launching those eggs into that little chamber. And there's a there's a chance, percentage chance that when you break an egg, a chicken hatches. I, I forget the exact percentage. I think it's like 16% or something like that and something. And then when it starts clicking like that, uh, it's empty. So you can also click on it here and see, yep, see completely empty. And we can come over here and just look into the little window. It's a little high in this build, but there's, I can hear the chickens up there. Let's go ahead and pillar up real quick and we'll let's see what we see in there. Yeah. So we have our multi-headed hydra chicken uh, going on, but when those guys grow up, they're going to produce eggs. The eggs will drop down uh, those through that hopper line into that bottom chest over on that side. And then we'll just keep on feeding them back in to here. Once we get 24 entities in here, 24 chicken into this, um, that's the max you can actually put in here. And the way we can figure that out is once we have 24, when we put more chickens in, it'll kill another chicken and we'll get raw chicken and feathers down into our, our main egg line. And that's how we know we have too many entities in there. But once we have a full load, that means we, we have the max amount of chickens we can have to produce eggs that will then be diverted to um, hatch full grown chickens into our little cooker over here. And that will then, so as the chicken comes in here, it'll grow up, another egg will launch, set off the comparator. The comparator will shoot out, pulse out really quickly, some lava right here, cook the adult chicken, it'll die drop into here and we'll have cooked chicken and feathers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let this cycle and we'll get some of these um, things happening. So we'll have eggs dropping down. I'll show you that. We'll get some chickens uh, growing up into here with the lava shooting out and you'll see that happen as well. So uh, I will cut back once we have a uh, full grown farm working. 
Okay, I've let some time pass. I've been feeding eggs from this chest into here uh, so we get the maximum amount and see what happened was that um, when the baby chickens grow up, they displace the adults and the adults die and that's where you get the raw chicken and the feather. So we know now that there are 24 chickens in that pot up there and we are maximum. So now that we have all of these eggs, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this lever right here to chicken. And now, look at that. See, all of the eggs that are being um, produced are coming through here. They're, there's a percentage chance that they turn into chicks. And every time an egg comes through, um, it sets this off, pulses the lava, comes back in. And then if there's an adult chicken, cooks the chicken, goes into here. So we'll go ahead and once again wait a little while and uh, see if we get some uh, cooked chicken in here. As we're waiting for the chickens to grow up and um, get nice and cooked for our delicious meals, I wanted to take this time to recognize the person who actually created this. Um, it's a YouTuber by the name of Avomance. And I, I mentioned that earlier, but I just want to say a little bit about his channel. Um, he is really, really talented when it comes to coming up with contraptions and uh, build ideas and has some great content that comes out daily. There goes one. That was an adult that just cooked. Um, but he is possibly one of the funniest YouTubers you could watch uh, playing the game of Minecraft. I find myself laughing quite often um, at, at pretty much every episode. So if you get a chance, please go check out Avomance's channel. And he points out that in, in um, his design for this, this is uh, based off of uh, Zoom Avoid, who's a very popular YouTuber who does uh, Hermitcraft series. Um, and then it was modified by another YouTuber that he links to as well. And I, and I can't think of the person's name uh, off the top of my head, but those are the two people, or three people I would go check out. And I'll be sure to link them in the, um, the description below. But yeah, so we have a full chicken cooker going right now and let's take a look and see what it, so we have two cooked chickens and some feathers this will keep on going I built this at spawn uh, I went ahead and I, I don't think I've ever showed this on camera early on I marked off with path blocks the dead center of where the compass leads to these four blocks and that that is the center of, that's spawn so um, everything around here is always running so this will always be running always be cooking chicken for us so we'll always have a, an endless supply of cooked chicken and feathers which will be great and I did want to just double back and it is one in eight not one in sixteen uh, chickens hatch from an egg that pops out so there you go and that brings us to the end of the episode if you like what you've seen and would like to see more please consider subscribing to this channel leaving a like because it really helps our views in the YouTube algorithm, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss any other future updates, and please leave me a comment about your success with this chicken cooker or any other automated farms you'd like to see in the future. Until next time, bye for now.